Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently laid the foundation stone for something groundbreaking. He inaugurated the construction of the second rocket launch port for Indian Space Research Organization at Kula Sekera Patanam on February 28th. Now, Kula Sekera Patanam is in coastal Tamil Nadu's Thutukuri district and this launch port is no small deal. It costs a whopping 986 crore rupees. But why do we really need a new launch port? Let's take a look at that in this video. India currently has its space port in Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh called the Satish Dhawan Space Center, SHAR. It's one of the lead centers of the Indian Space Research Organization, which is ISRO, and has been operational since the 90s, launching all sorts of rockets for ISRO. With the government opening up the space sector to private players, we are now expecting a surge in commercial launches. And to prevent our existing launch site from getting overloaded, ISRO decided to build a new facility. Now, SHAR will handle the big, heavy missions like ones to the moon, even the highly anticipated Gaganyan mission. And the new launch port at Kula Sekera Patina? Well, that's exclusively for smaller payloads. And get this, private players can now get involved. They can develop space-qualified subsystems, build satellites, and launch vehicles from this new launch port. It's like opening up a whole new avenue for space enthusiasts. Now, why Tamil Nadu? Well, Kula Sekera Patinam's location is like a natural boost for future launches, especially for small satellite launch vehicle. It allows for a more direct southward launch trajectory, saving fuel and enhancing payload capacities. Unlike the current launches from SHAR, which have to go eastwards around Sri Lanka before heading south, launches from Kula Sekera Patinam can take a straight southward route it's all about making things more efficient, right? Now, get this, both these launch boats are down south near the equator, giving us a bonus in terms of Earth's rotation speed. And according to experts, being closer to the equator means more velocity due to Earth's rotation, giving us a significant boost in payload capacity. Now let's talk about progress. The Tamil Nadu government has handed over 2,000 acres of land in Kula Sekara Patinam to ISRO. But hold on, it might take about two years to finish constructing the new launch port. As Somanath, the chairman of ISRO, mentioned that the new facility could host around 20 to 30 SSLV launches every year once it's up and running. And speaking of SSLV, that's the new player in town. It's a small satellite launch vehicle designed by ISRO, perfect for those mini micro or nano satellites weighing between 10 to 500 kgs. Now, these SSLV missions are not only cost-effective, but also super handy for commercial and on-demand launches. Imagine what we can achieve with these small but mighty rockets. Now, how's India's SSLV journey been so far? Well, it had a bit of a shaky start. The first mission with SSLV D1 carrying two satellites failed. But the second attempt was a success, launching three satellites into the intended orbit. So there you have it, exciting times ahead for space exploration in India, don't you think? Stay tuned to the Indian Express for more. Thanks for watching.